Welcome to Pro Wrestling's Best News for June 1st, 2023. AEW CEO Tony Khan confirmed last night that CM Punk will make his return to AEW television after a nearly nine-month absence following AEW All Out last September, where Punk led a tirade-filled press conference following the event and followed that up by getting in a physical altercation with Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks. Khan made this announcement on last night's AEW Dynamite, offering very few details, except that Punk will be featured on the debut episode of AEW Collision on June 17th from Chicago. You can read more on this story at eWrestlingNews.com. Alexa Bliss announced this week that she is expecting a child with her husband, Ryan Cabrera. Bliss discussed the pregnancy and what that means for her WWE career in a recent interview with The Messenger. Bliss stated that WWE extended her current contract early this year to give her time to participate in the Masked Singer reality TV competition show. When discussing a possible return to in-ring action, Bliss declared, Probably a month after the baby, I'll start probably getting back into the gym and getting ready to see what my in-ring return looks like. You can read more on this story at themessenger.com. WWE Hall of Famer Ted DiBiase shared some health news on the most recent episode of his Everybody's Got a Pod podcast. DiBiase, who retired from in-ring action in 1993, said he still suffers some short-term memory loss due to a condition the doctors told him is not Alzheimer's or dementia, rather simply called severe brain trauma, suffered from his decades of in-ring performances. Earlier in the episode, DiBiase discussed knowing that he needed to retire earlier than most of his peers to avoid even worse health conditions and to have an enjoyable life with his family. You can read more on this story at wrestlinginc.com. The dollar amount for the new ESPN rights deal for the Pat McAfee show has been revealed by the New York Post this week. The part-time WWE competitor and commentator and former NFL punter will receive roughly $85 million for five years of the show. For its nearly $17 million per year investment, ESPN will retain the appearances of McAfee on programming like College Football Game Day and 230 fully produced shows a year that it can sell advertising against. You can Read more on this story at NewYorkPost.com. That's Pro Wrestling's best news for today. Please subscribe to the Spanish Announce Table at SpanishAnnounceTable.net to get daily content like this news, podcasts, match reviews and suggestions, and more delivered right to your inbox.